Diet Snapple says, In Denmark, citizens have to select baby names from a list of 7,000 government approved names. Well, now you know, thanks to Snapple. This is my new obsession, by the way, is the peach tea. I buy it by the case. If you watch a few videos back, you know that. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Friday. Another work week is almost done, and the weekend is almost here. I know I'm excited because that means two days without having to work, and I get to enjoy a little peace and quiet. As far as weekend plans go, well, more than likely, I'll end up going to get my brakes changed at some point because I discovered the other day when I was in driving around town, they're starting to make noise. They're starting to squeak. Uh, so if you're a car person, go ahead, feel free to judge me right now. Um, but I work from home, so I don't drive the car very often, so I don't notice it. Um, but I noticed the squeal the other day, uh, when I was in town. So, probably gonna get the brakes changed, because it's been three years. Yeah, being judged, I can feel it. I feel the judgment coming from right there. Yeah, right there. Judging, right in that region. But it's okay. I don't mind. Um, they needed to be changed, and, um, uh, that's part of it, right? So may end up doing that this weekend. Uh, other than that, I really have no plans. Today, uh, temperature-wise, it's perfect outside. It's beautiful temperature. Uh, fall is officially on the verge of busting open here. Uh, I mentioned it yesterday. Today is no different. Uh, low last night was, I think, 59 degrees. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. My air conditioning did not kick on. It was beautiful, beautiful. Um, so, and if it wasn't for the fact that there's a wasp nest by this window, I would open this window throughout the day just because I love the temperature outside right now. Unfortunately, the sky is about the same color as, well, the gray stuff. Uh, but this is not delicious. Uh, it's definitely very gray outside, not even a blip of blue like my hair. There's no blips of blue or, as of right now, it looks green. Uh, or cotton candy blue, as I'm calling it, because I need to color it again. Uh, if you guys color your hair, or if you don't, um, if you do color it, you know my struggles. If you don't, then you don't know it quite yet. Uh, coloring your hair like this, it takes upkeep, a lot of upkeep, um, to keep it the color that it's supposed to be. Uh, it's just, it washes out so easily and fades so quickly that it's hard to keep it in there. I keep a tube of the color in my bathroom sink uh, so that I can touch it up as needed. Um, but then again comes the other problem. If you don't do your color your hair like this uh, or you're interested in it, I will tell you when you color it, A, there's a lot of upkeep. Lots of upkeep. B, expect everything you own that puts on your head to turn that color. My pillowcases are blue-ish in spots, which is upsetting, because they were very, very nice pillowcases to match the quilt. Uh, the bathtub has a blue ring on it because I have a ceramic tub, so the ceramic is kind of porous and it absorbed the blue, so I've been bleaching the tub to try to get the blue out of it. Uh, my sink has a little couple of spots of blue around it uh, in the bathroom because it is porcelain as well. So there are a lot of drawbacks uh, to having blue hair. Or in my case, it's actually, um, I believe it's aqua is the color on the box. Um, but I do need to touch it up. So it's just part of the process, right? Um, because it's a mess and it's, you well, know, looks like cotton candy. It's got multiple layers of color in it right now. Thanks to um, that. You can see the blonde poking out where it needs to be done. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get Friday started. Work is about to begin for me. Um, maybe the skies will clear off later and I can go out and enjoy some of the afternoon, see what kind of trouble I can get into. Anyway, come on, let's go! I mentioned it already, I did not go to the grocery store this week. And I just realized my battery is low, so I gotta change the battery before I go. But I gotta go to the grocery store to get, or the store to get lunch because, uh, I didn't go to the grocery and I'm kinda hungry. So, let me change the battery and then you can come with me. 
I know I've already mentioned it once today, but the sky is clearing up and it is turning out to be an absolutely stunning day. So I've mentioned it before, I live pretty much out in the middle of nowhere. And when you go to get in the car to go to lunch and there is a white van that has pulled up and stopped at the end of your yard. It's a little creepy. I'm just curious why they're there. So as I'm driving down the really bumpy road, um, I don't know if you can tell it, but I really need to take the car to the car wash again. I park under a tree um, when it's not in the garage and the tree tends to sap a lot and it's really super sticky. It makes berries and the birds love to eat and well defecate on my car. Uh, so I think it's time for a car wash. All right guys, well Friday is done and in the pocket and ready to be put away for another day. It is officially the weekend kickoff. Work is done. I have got everything I need to finish up and relax and enjoy a nice quiet weekend. It turned out to be a great day outside as you saw. I didn't do much uh, just because of the fact that I had work to do. But uh, I did manage to go get some lunch and take you along with me. I didn't take you in the store. It was super crowded in the store today. And being that I do live in a very small country town, uh, the store is literally the size of this office. So going in there trying to videotape is not, uh, probably not the best option for me. But all the same, the food is really good. So I enjoyed a quick lunch and came back in. So, as you guys know, I said yesterday I was going to play a video game when I got off work. I might go outside and fly the drone. I may just go outside and sit. It's really a beautiful evening. But I did yesterday play a video game. I downloaded Just Cause 3. Uh, I downloaded it because it looked like one of the Uncharted games in the picture. Uh, and it was free. It was a part of the PlayStation Plus program membership. So I downloaded it just to see what it was all about. I played about 10 minutes of it and it was kind of eh. Um... I, I kind of dig the open worldness of it, but I really do not like the loading. Oh my gosh, the loading takes forever to uh, load up so that you can play. Um, and I don't like to have to go through that. If I die, I want to just die and I want it to restart. I don't want it to take 45 minutes to reload. Um, so that was kind of a bummer for me. But the graphics were cool and the story seemed pretty neat. I really like his grappling hook that he has on, I think it's on this one. Uh, that he has on his arm that he can grapple to. I think that's really a cool feature. Um, I just don't like that loading sequence. It's really boring to me. So, as I said, the day is almost over for me, and I'm going to go enjoy a little bit. Uh, relax, kick off my shoes. I'll probably go get something for dinner later on, um, but I don't know what, when, or how, or where. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the day for me. I'm glad you guys came along with me. Uh, if you're just following in for the first time ever, welcome aboard. I'm glad to have you. Make sure that you subscribe. Use that little button. It's down here somewhere. Or maybe it's over here. I don't know. I'm new to this. Uh, just hit the subscribe button because I like seeing it light up my phone uh, every time I get a new one on the, on the list there. Uh, so I do appreciate you coming along. Uh, so I will see you guys I guess on the other side, till tomorrow.